food, a booming industry where restaurants and supermarkets get all the glamour, but what happens to your food before it gets to the local grocer and on your plate? Eastland Foods will tell us all about it. We're here with Tony DeMarco, owner of Eastland Foods. Tony, you've been in business since 1963. I assume your mom and dad? Yep, uh, mom and dad started the business in 1963, the year I was, was born, actually. My father had some experience with other food businesses, but he was kind of ahead of his time and he developed the concept of processing fresh vegetables, namely potatoes back then to deliver to various restaurants and institutions uh, throughout the state and New England. At what point did you get into it? My father had me working at the ripe old age of nine, 10 years old. Child labor. <laughs> yeah, well, things were a little different back then, so um, it was good. It was a good learning process, developing a, a work, work ethic early in life. You know, obviously when I wasn't in school, and then he unfortunately passed away in 1979, and I was just a, you were a middle teen teenager. I was 15 years old at the time, yes. And so how did you keep it going? Um, well, uh, mom was persistent on keeping it going and she wasn't gonna let the business fail. So through her efforts and a lot of other family members' efforts, uh, we were able to achieve that. Thank God for mom. Thank God for mom. And she's 82 years old and she's here every day, eight o'clock in the morning. Now, when you grew too big for the business at home, you moved here right. to Cranston. To Cranston. And now here at this facility, you receive the food from the trucks Correct. that bring it in yep. and you process it. Right. One stop right here. One stop. To learn more about this process, let's go speak with a VP and SQF practitioner. You know what that is, Al, right? Of course I do. Now we're here with Dane. Dane, bail me out. What's SQF? SQF stands for Safe Quality Food. It's part of the Global Food Safety Initiative that was developed in 2000 to monitor food safety practices within a processing plant or a distribution plant. What basically happens is, is we're going to track that lot from when we received it all the way through until it arrives at our customer's uh, door. So there are certain control points within the process where there's higher potential for contamination of product. We want to make sure we monitor those uh, processes. So that basically then is a grading system by this organization to tell you just how well you're doing with handling the food. That is correct. That is correct. And on our last uh, SQ Wolf audit, which was uh, last month, we scored a 98 out of 100. Now that we've established that food safety is the top priority with Eastland, Let's go into the process. A trailer backs into your docking facility. What happens? First, there's an intensive uh, inspection process before we'll take that into the facility. We first look at seal. Make sure that the, the trailer has a seal and it has not been broken since it was initially loaded. Then we look at temperatures. We look at the temperature of the units. Uh, we look at the temperature of the product. Uh, we do visual inspection of the product. Uh, once we make the determination that we are going to, in fact, accept that product, it's labeled, lauded, and it goes into storage, right. okay? And then when production calls for that product, we're going to take that raw material, whatever raw material it is, out of the cooler, we're going to bring it into the processing area, and we're going to process it. It's going to be sanitized, it's going to be washed through our flume system. We run it through metal detection to make sure that there aren't any issues as far as foreign material is concerned. If it needs to be peeled, it might need to be cut, sliced, diced. We do a lot of uh, specialty cuts. So if a customer calls up and they want a hand cut, three quarter by two inch by half inch, um, then we'll do that. Then the product is uh, packaged and the product is shipped to the customer. We're able to uh, deliver our product up and down the East Coast and as far uh, west as Ohio. I never realized how food is pampered from the time it comes out of the ground until it gets on your plate. Most people, Al, don't. Unless you're in this industry, you really don't understand the processes that, that take place to ensure uh, that the food that we deliver to our customers uh, is, is safe and is safe to eat. From a family business that started out in a garage in 1963 to a company that distributes food up and down the East Coast, Eastland Foods right here in Cranston.